So why are plants so thin? Because they are like eaters. Get it? Photosynthesis? They don't eat enough? I think that joke was more than enough. Perfect! Hello there broskies, Erk the Turk Hassan back here with a brand new Air Max. Yes, on today's episode, we are reviewing the Nike Air Max TW. Now, new Air Max Nike sneakers, are they really hitting off like they used to? I think the only one that sort of stuck around is the Air Max 270, and that's because mainly the price, the comfort, and the amount of colorways. Other than that, like the lady hanging out on the corner, they just come and go. But whatever side this Air Max sneaker falls under, we'll just have to wait and see. Now the Air Max TW, from what I'm reading up anyway, this is meant to be a rebrand to the Tailwind. But officially from Nike, I haven't heard anything or seen anything. So maybe Nike aren't really trying to say it's a rebrand, they're just naming it the TW. But in my opinion, it does have those Tailwind vibes. And I'm a big fan of the Tailwind series. I mean, the Tailwind 4 was one of my favorite Air Max ever. And yes, we're gonna look at the design in a little bit, but this is like if the Air Max Plus, AKA TN had a base Maybe with the Air Max Tailwind. Sprinkle a little bit of the Air Max 2021 in there and you've got yourself this shoe. But before we dive any deeper, let's have a look at the box. Now in terms of the box, I've never liked these boxes, but it is of course a move to zero box by Nike. Nike do claim this sneaker is made with at least 20% recycled material. So these are the boxes that they give us. But yes, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. The most important bit to me is the product sticker. And it does actually say Air Max TW and this official colorway is white, speed yellow and racer blue. So the day of recording this video is the 6th of October and these actually released on the Nike website a few days before. I would have got the review out sooner but you know life and all of that stuff. The black and white pair though did drop today and according to a lot of you lot that is the more popular colorway. But you know what I kind of got to disagree a little. Yes I do agree that's a safer option in terms of styling, wearing outfits and that sort of thing. But in terms of overall look the 90s retro vibe that Nike are going for this colorway just wins. But anyway when it comes to this shoe the sizing in itself is actually true to size. For me, I go true to size in the likes of the Air Max 90, the Air Max 1, the Nike Dunks, the Jordan 1s as well, and this is exactly the same. So in my opinion, whatever size you go with normally, I'd say stick to that. Right, the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, and that is of course, to take an up close and personal look to this design. Now there's so much going on here, honestly, I don't know where to start, but Nike have hit the nail on the head in terms of aiming for that retro 90s vibe. It's defo got that dad shoe look to it, but also that modern twist. Now the mid panels and the toe box are made of this nylon mesh and the design and look of it does look pretty cool. One thing I did notice though, on foot, there wasn't enough padding towards the toe box because of it. But I guess it's one of those things you'll have to get used to. Now towards the mid panels though, there is that sort of dissolved look to the effects. And it would have been so cool if these panels were holographic. But I guess depending on the angle you're looking at it from, it might have that look to it anyway. Now the overlays themselves are of course in a synthetic leather. And on that toe guard though, we have that mini Nike swoosh in gold. And then just the middle of that panel, we do have that blue hit. Now the lace setup here is defo a Tailwind vibe to it. We've got that pipe into the lace cage, which I think it was on the Tailwind 5. And the lace hoops themselves are of course in blue and yellow. Now this shoe does come with these roped white laces. And the tongue in itself is of course in that white mesh. And we do have that synthetic leather panel there just on the top. And bang smack in the middle, we do have that TW Air Max branding. And for all the TN fans out there, yes, it looks exactly the same as the TN. Kind of like if you got a TN from Wish. Now there's a lot of padding towards the back in that cotton sock liner. And then we've got this neoprene sock-like feature that sort of connects the tongue to the back. And I can't lie to you broskies, it did add to the comfort. 
Now we've got the Nike pinwheel logo just on top of that blue insole. Now if this heel counter doesn't scream 90s, I don't know what will. Now it kind of looks like the sock liner sort of bleeds over towards the heel counter and the Nike swoosh on top of that, of course, is stitched in gold. Now we've got that signature Nike Air stitched in blue on top of that synthetic leather panel. And of course, we also have the piping around in blue. And also we've got that subtle detail in that corduroy white finish, which does look like it will get dirty very easily. Now this midsole and air unit is one of the most comfiest Air Max I've tried on. But this blue foam that Nike are calling Kushlon does add to that effect. It's very spongy to the touch and very nice on foot as well. But the main contributor though, of course, is this massive air unit. This might be the exact same Air Max unit from the Air Max 2021, but it might be different. It's got that same bulk and same design, but if I'm wrong, comment down below. Now the actual design in itself is great. I mean, it's got these sort of five holes that you can see it from and the caging from the midsole sort of protects it from outdoor exposure. But whether it actually holds up or not, that's a whole different story. But the foam to the midsole itself does add a nice balance to the shoe. It's great to see an Air Max that doesn't have that slanted feeling towards the back. Now the outsole here is defo old and new. Towards the forefoot, we've got those Air Max 97 vibes to the traction panels. And then we've got that exposed foam going towards the middle with the air branding in that yellow panel with low pressure there. And then towards the outer side of that black panel, it does say dual pressure hill with high pressure there too. Right broskies, another year has passed, another Air Max that has dropped. What are we thinking so far? And most importantly, is this a buy or a buy? Now, like I mentioned at the start of this video, there are so many forgettable Air Maxes and very few memorable ones from recent years. But where does this Air Max TW fall? Now, I've got to say, in my opinion, it might just take the right colorway and even the right collaboration. I mean, if you look at the Air Max Tailwind 5, the only memorable one you can think of and I can think of is probably the Skeptors. So just imagine someone like Skepta collabing on this shoe or just the fire colorway in general. Because believe me, broskies, the comfort is A1, honestly. And whether you like the style or not, there's so much you can do in terms of outfits. But of course, like I did say, it's all down to the colorway in itself. And retailing at £145, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but that's pretty cheap nowadays especially for a brand new Air Max sneaker. I mean, we've seen the likes of the Air Max Scorpion 225 on the shoe. Just like Dizzy Rascal, that's absolutely bonkers. But overall broskies, I cannot really complain about this sneaker that much. I mean, the lack of padding towards the toe box is something I can live with. The design in itself, the comfort, and of course the retro vibes to it is right up my streets. It's definitely one of those sneakers you need to try on to sort of understand it. But I'm gonna leave that there and give the Air Max TW an absolute spy. But broskies, comment down below and let me know what you think about this brand new Air Max silhouette. Is it one that you're willing to try out or are you waiting for different colorways? Comment down below and I will pin the best comments. Anyways, broskies, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit me up on IG as well because I'm most active over there. And whilst you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And until the next episode, take care.